Hello everyone, Rice Time 911 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add proper 10n and input bindings to your farming simulator mods so that they work. So, for starters, what you're going to need to do is unzip your mod that you're trying to add the proper 10n and input bindings to into a folder somewhere where you can work on it freely. So when you have it unzipped, it should look something like this with your i3d and mod disk and XML all laid out here. And that's actually what we're going to look at in this video, the mod desk and XML. So I actually have those open over here. So before we get started, maybe we should look at what exactly is the 10n and in input bindings. Well, the 10n basically tells the game to tell you what keys to press for what action. And the actions are often set in the XML, usually by a custom script. As a matter of fact, you only really need the 10n and input bindings if you're using a custom script. So if you have an action that you've set by a custom script, for example, I have a siren set as an action. Well, basically, the 10n will see that action and tell you what keys to press for that action. Whereas the input bindings, basically what they do is they set what key to press for that action. So now that we know what they do and what they are, we can go about putting them in. So how do we go about adding a 10n and input binding to our mod anyway? Well, a good start and a good bit of help is this here sample code and a bit of a guide that I have there for you in the description, which you can download just below. And basically it's got all the sample code you'll need to copy and paste to make your 10n and input bindings work, as well as some descriptions of what all these pieces mean, like the name and all this stuff, what it all means and how it works. So go ahead and download that if you haven't already, and that'll help you out quite a bit. Now, as far as actually adding it, remember we mentioned an action? Well, for this example, this tutorial, we're going to use this action here, which is basically an animation. It basically moves an uh, audio source move up and down to make a siren turn on and off. So, Basically, we're just going to link this into the 10n and input bindings into the 10n so that it will write a little description that tells us siren and into the input bindings so it will tell us press this button for the siren. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to write in that 10n and input bindings. Okay, so for starters, if your mod doesn't have this a bit of a code like this, then you're going to want to add it. Just have the opening tag and end tag for the 10n block. So basically, block just means this as a whole. Now, we're also going to want to add the opening tag and end tag for the input bindings block just like so, and that's a good start. Now we can start putting in the code for our action to link it, basically to link these controls to the action in the XML. So let's just go here and I'll show you. So for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste all this here and paste it in between these two 10n tags. So there we go, we have the text names. And basically, you see here how this text name, Siren, it's exactly the same as in the XML, right here in this block. So basically what this does is it tells for this action, Siren, set the name Siren for English and this randomness for Dutch. And then we also have another text name, input underscore siren. So basically to link it to the input bindings because I think that's what this whole import, but import 
input part does. Okay, so now we're going to add the part for input bindings. And notice how we have the exact same name again. That's to link it to the action in the XML. And now we have here it says key Z. So basically this sets what key to press for that action. So basically you're just going to want to make sure that the input name, the text name, and the other text name, this part right here lines up and it's spelled exactly the same in the exact same case. And by that I mean it's all lowercase or all uppercase or what have you. And basically, yeah, just make sure that all these names line up and that will basically link these together so that in game, when you are trying to activate this action, which we have in XML, it'll look in the mod desk and see, yes, we have input bindings for that action and 10n for that action. And it will set everything up so that in game, you'll see the controls in the F1 menu and it will look really nice. And work really nice too. So yeah, if you just make sure all these names line up, it should work good. And also, you'll just want to make sure you don't have these here because this isn't actual code, it's just explanation. So yeah, it won't work too well with those because they'll read it as code and it might crash things. So just be sure to get rid of those. And so yeah, if you just set all this out like that, it should be good to go. And if you're using a different thing, like let's say you're doing it for light set on, you want to have a, it show the key to press. And let's say your name is sample strobe one. Really, you can have basically any custom made script. And all you really got to do is copy the name of the action you're using and just paste it in. So you're trying to link this 10N and input bindings to these here strobes so that they turn on when you press that button, well, just copy the name and paste it in the same place as you have Siren. And then it'll be all linked up so that right there you'll have it the same name. So it will read that it's going to put key Z for sample strobe one. So that's how to do it. I do hope this video I do hope this video has helped you, and I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!